Cyrax's grandma, Sally, she had a stroke yesterday. She's in the hospital right now. I'd like to ask you to keep Sally in your thoughts and prayers. I know not everyone's the biggest fan of Sally, but I'll tell you what, after everything that the goblin has put her through over the years, we definitely don't want her to be suffering now. I always wanted her to have a good senior years of her life and not be, you know, not being able to sleep because of Cyrax and his guitar. Getting beat up by Cyrax because he has beat her up before too and he's gone to jail for that too. But the point is, she's in the hospital right now. Cyrax, he proved last night on this stream where he was actually talking to William Gloryhole, which is what we're going to be reviewing today. William Gloryhole really owned the goblin last night. It was amazing. But the things that Cyrax says in this stream show you that he doesn't care that his grandma, Sally, is in the hospital right now. She had a stroke. He's still doing the same stuff he always does, fighting people online, playing video games, making noise with that guitar. And he's still not. And this is my question I have for you right now is, if this time comes, whenever that time comes where Sally goes home to be with the Lord, what is Cyrax going to do at that point in time? I don't believe he loves Sally. I think he loves the fact that she keeps a roof over his head and sludge in his belly. But once that day comes where Sally goes on to a better place, Ed is not going to let Cyrax live with him. Ed's going to kick him out. Ed's going to say, hell no, I'm done with you. They've already gotten in multiple fights. Ed can't stand Cyrax. And Cyrax can't stand Ed because Ed's not a fan of his BS. He doesn't encourage his delusions. So my question to you right now is what's going to happen at that point? Some of you know I used to do security for a couple of years at a mental facility. And we would get patients brought in who were very similar to Cyrax. And they were either brought in by the paramedics or usually the police because the police couldn't take them to jail so they would bring them and drop them off with us. And what would happen is they would stay there for a day or two. Whenever they would attack someone, they would call security. We'd have to go stop them from attacking anyone. They'd usually be restrained and left there and put on meds or something to calm them down. And then about two days later, they'd call us and say, hey, their time here is up. You need to get them out. So we say, all right, sorry, it's time to go. You can't stay here anymore. Your stay here is over. And we have to take them outside and say, all right, have a good day. Here's a sandwich. You want a sandwich? Take a sandwich with you. See ya. And they say, I have nowhere to go. Where am I supposed to go? We say anywhere, but you can't stay here. You, you can't, you're not allowed on premises anymore. You have to leave. So then they'd go out and sometimes they'd do horrible things. Sometimes they'd do horrible things. I remember one guy, he got ran over by a train. You know why? Because they wouldn't let him stay there. So he went and he laid down on a train track. He got ran over, dude. Other times they'd go out and commit crimes, do horrible things. But the point is, if there's nowhere for them to go, where are they going to go? What is Cyrax going to do? Would it even be safe to have a wild Cyrax running around out there? It wouldn't. Let's analyze some of this footage, my friends. These are questions I have for you, and I want you to answer in the comments, please. Very troublesome times we're in. Come on, William. What do you got to say, dude? Yeah, it's really William Glory Hall. What I want to know, dude, is why do you do this shit to me? Like, why can't you just leave? Why can't you and Griker just leave me the fuck alone, dude? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I've done nothing to either of you, dude. I mean, you guys sat there. You stole my fucking music knowing that was my fucking shit. I told and you that I was going to take away all your revenue for money. And why? I'm, and I'm doing why? it. Why? Because you don't deserve a dollar. As you can see, William Gloryhole is going to lay into him. You're going to love this. Let me boost the audio for us a bit. And what makes you think that, you fucking pussy ass little crackheaded fuck boy? Did all you, you go are to the hospital pussy. today when Sally you're had her pussy. stroke? You're a porch monkey. When Sally thing. had her stroke, did you go to the hospital today? Nope. Actually, did yes, I did, motherfucker. Liar. Liar. Who drove? Why didn't you call an ambulance? Uh, because she was well enough to drive there on her own, but me and so she Ed has a stroke, and, and you allow her to. It drive was a fucking mini movie. stroke, you douchebag Genius. little fag. Do you see what Cyrax is saying? He says it's a mini stroke. He says it's not important. He doesn't care. I've said it before. I say it again. He does not have the ability to love someone. He doesn't love Sally. He loves what she can do for him. He doesn't love her. He doesn't care about her. He hates Ed too. He doesn't care about Ed. The Goblin is not capable of love. And that time that Ed overdosed, Ed was so stressed out, so upset, so miserable in life that he's tried to overdose to end his life multiple times. And Cyrax tries to use it to get sympathy. You don't know what it feels like when I saw Ed on the floor. You don't care about Ed. Again, you only care that Ed helped Sally keep a roof over your head and sludge in your belly, Cyrax. Hey, Gloria, why are you That's doing why you don't deserve any money. Hey, and Jenny, I know that you normally don't hear me talk like this, but I will if say, this, what you bro, really like. why don't you do yourself a favor and slit your throat, bitch? Do yourself a favor and slit like. your throat. 
Gloria, do yourself a favor, switch your throat, and watch yourself bleed out, motherfucker. I See the insults that he slings? He, he tells people to off themselves all the time. And Cyrax tries to act like an advocate for people who have felt that way before. He claims he has himself. He says, I tried to do this to myself. He's talking about when he held that stylus to his neck on that stream. You know the one I'm talking about. So then the fact that he turns right around and always tries to insult people by telling them to off themselves, so, it's just sickening. It's, and I've always, I've always had a fear that someone who has felt that way or may feel that way might reach out to him because they might not know any better. They might think that he has their best interests at heart. And you know what's going to happen is if it's, a, if it's a lady who's reaching out to him, he's going to be trying to sh sh give her a little more than she bargained for. He's not a safe person to have online. He's a danger to everyone. And he's sickening the way he tries to use tragics, tragic things, like people feeling like they want to end their lives, and he tries to use it to get sympathy for himself when he has no respect for people who have felt that way. This is, these are just a few of the reasons we despise you, Cyrax. That's all little pussies like you fucking deserve. You're nothing, that, but would be on your hands. You're nothing but a sick fuck. And honestly, bro, somebody should beat your fucking ass to a goddamn bloody pulp. Somebody really should... like, like you beat up your grandma to a bloody pulp. You're the one who beat your grandma to a bloody pulp, Cyrax. If anyone deserves that, it is you. You, you know that too. After what you did to your grandma multiple times. Your relatives said that you've done that to her multiple times. Sure. You, you have matter to bad, address. Matter of fact, Jenny, how do you think Tyree would feel knowing that this little douchebag is doing this? Well, if I don't you, think he, that... Tyree wouldn't care. Tyree hates you. Actually, no, he doesn't. No, actually, okay. no, actually, Tyree doesn't. Believe it or not, me and Tyree are actually pretty chill with each other, dude. Yeah, right. Well, I told Tyree what what um, Cyrax is going through again, and. Tyree can relate because the same people go after him that are going after Cyrax. And the same and, people are going after and me. Glory, and Glory Hole, let me tell you right now, you piece of shit motherfucker. You know damn well I do deserve everything I fucking do. Because unlike you, I don't sit on my fucking lazy ass and jerk off the kitty porn all fucking day oh, like no. you and everybody fucking else, bro. Oh, no. And that right there, when I heard that when I was watching this this morning... While listening to it while I drank my coffee, I had to put that on the Instagram. Why? Because that's goblin projection there in its purest form, in its most truest and honest form. He says, unlike you, I don't sit on my lazy ass all day watching that you know what. And we know the goblin projects. So many of the insults he shoots out at others are nothing but direct reflections of what is within him. And we know that he's done that kind of stuff and he likes it. And he's the lazy one who in his 32 years of life has never, never gotten a job because he won't. I guarantee you he's the one watching that nasty stuff, downloading that nasty stuff onto his goblin computer. That's exactly what you do. You no, send that's your dick what to you underage do, kids. Piss, and that's You're what you do, up little fucking kids chicken on shit. Facebook you chicken all the time. shit fuck boy. You're a chicken shit fuck boy. So why don't, you, why don't you do yourself a favor and go back to sucking Marty's cock, you fucking Gloriel? Then he always says that too. He says, go back to essing Marty's D. He always says that. I bet you chances are Cyrax wishes he could S Marty's D. He probably would. Because Cyrax has done this before. He's, you know, we all have our things we like. And essing D is something that Cyrax likes. He's done it before. To at least one person that we know for a fact, and as his name was Billy. Some call him Blind Billy. It's part of the lore of all of this. But he always projects that out onto others. So many of the insults he shoots out are nothing but projection. I mean, we all know that you're Marty's personal glory hole, bitch. So why don't you go back to sucking? No, why, why, why don't you go back to sucking his fucking cock? Why don't you go suck that old fucking man cock? Is that the we only all know insult you love you to jerk off with? on, boy. Go back to sucking Marty's dick. Or better yet, go back to sucking Griker's dick, you fucking pissant little wimp dick, bitch. You're a, you you're a pussy. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill teaches you how to suck dick. You're a pussy. Oh, yeah. dick fuck boy. Do you see the immaturity in the way that Cyrax talks to people? The way he tries to express his thoughts? He's so incredibly immature. Externally, he, he's supposed to be 32 years old, but internally? I'd be surprised if he's older than, I don't know, 13 or so internally in his mind. He's really, really, really not mature as a person. And anytime you try to have a conversation with him, this is what this is what he resorts to. 
And I'm sure this is what he does to his grandmother before she was in the hospital with her stroke that he's trying to downplay and acts like it doesn't matter. No wonder nobody wants to be his friend. Bro, see, you're jealous of me, mother. At least I didn't drive my grandmother to have a stroke. Hey, hey, at least I didn't sit there and act like a tough guy when it really am a pussy out of me on his screen, motherfucker. Projection again, Goblin. You are the one who tries to act like a tough guy all the time when you're not. You're not a tough guy in real life. In real life, you just you sit in that attic, jacking off, watching the shows that you watch. I know you're into some of that anime stuff. A lot of people like that stuff. But that's not all you watch. You watch some nasty stuff. You look at some nasty stuff. Remember when your biological dad got busted looking at that nasty, foul stuff? There's an interview with Cyrex's biological dad, Marty. Marty and Schmeckelcat. Schmeckelcat, you bitch. They were... They were Interviewing his biological dad and the stuff that he had been looking at and saving on his Pinterest account. Oh, no, you don't even want to know what it was. It was so sick. And then his excuse was his, his Pyrex biological dad. His name is uh, his name now is Ongus. He changed it to Ongus, but it used to be Rupal. But he says, he says, wow, well, we, I was helping with some fundraiser for transgender kids. I was helping with a fundraiser. And that's why I was saving all of those pictures to my Pinterest account. Bullshit, dude. Because the things you were typing with those pictures were foul. Just foul. No wonder Cyrax came from you. He's the demon spawn of Rupal is what he is. And we're going to have a song coming up here. Christmas time is coming up. We're going to have Noel, Noel. Uh, the uh, demons did sing. It goes, Born is the demon spawn of Rupal. It's going to be a really good song in the works. But the point is, just sick, dude. All you do is have you on a screen like a little bitch. That's you. That's all you fucking You do are the little bitch. You boy. are. No, I do way more than that. Let's face it, Glory. I, I ruin your life. You're a pussy. I take away all You're your revenue streams. You're scared of me, nigga. I, I essentially You're scared own you. of me, nigga. Nobody's scared of you, Cyrax. You see what William Gloryhole is saying? He said, I'm taking away all of your revenue streams. I'm taking away any ability you have to make money online. He says, because you don't deserve it, Cyrax. He said, you don't deserve any bit of it because of the monster that you are. This is why William Gloryhole is so dedicated to what he's dedicated to. Keeping racks for making any money online and he does a damn good job of it. That's why a lot of, lot of folks out here are doing a damn good job of helping to ensure that the goblin does not make money online the way he wants to. Why should he deserve to? He doesn't deserve it. He's a monster. He's a monster. And this is why so many folks are dedicated. William Gloryhole being uh, one of the most dedicated. And uh, I tell you what, we're all proud of you, William. You keep doing your thing. You're so good at this. You're scared of me, you little piss ant. You fear me, motherfucker. That's why you do what you do. Because you you're jealous of me. Channels? You're like, jealous of me, you want bitch. A false how can anyone be jealous of Cyrax? How can anyone be jealous of Cyrax? There's nothing to be jealous of. And I'm, I'm not saying that to be mean. But there's nothing to be jealous of, Cyrax. Does Cyrax know that, or does he not know that? Is he lying to himself? Is he this delusional? Does he think he's some sort of a superstar? You're going to see in this stream, coming up here, he's going to say, I'm Cyrax, inward. I'm Cyrax, inward. Who are you? It's like, in his delusional mind, he thinks he's some sort of a, like a celebrity. I mean, he is, he is a lol cow. And I think he deserves to be on the Chris Chan level of infamy, you know? And until anything interesting happens with Chris Chan, we're going to keep milking the shit out of Raxo. But the point is, he, he thinks he's some sort of like superstar mega celebrity or something. He's that deluded in his mind. That's what happens when you drink too much sludge. Like, nigga, I'm Cyrax, down. nigga. We're going to take down every you? one of your channels. Who the fuck are you, bitch? I'm Cyrax, motherfucker. Who You're are you? Nobody. You're a nobody. You're you're, You're a, a nobody. Pedophile. You're a nobody. You're, You're a, a goblin nobody. pedophile. You're a nobody, you pedophile little bitch. See the projection. See the projection. Cyrax keeps saying, You're nobody. You're nobody. I tell you what, Cyrax, there are a lot more people out there who enjoy what William Gloryhole does. They're spreading the truth about you. People love William Gloryhole. You, on the other hand, Cyrax, you know the truth. Most of the people who watch you do it to, to laugh. Not because they actually like you or your content, or they just want to laugh at you or see you rax out like this. By the way, this is grade A raxing out. William Gloryhole, thank you so much for speaking with Cyrax, for, for having this great entertainment for us. And Raxo, thank you for raxing out. I mean, that's what we love to see you do, every one of us. But the point here, Cyrax, is that you're projecting. And then you call him a pedo? You say you're the pedo? Cyrax, 
Let me pull your own, one of your own moves on you. We all know. We all know, bitch. No, we all know that you're the one who's gotten busted with that sort of thing time and time again, trying to talk to people who are way too young that you have no business talking to or sending those nasty foul photos of yourself and videos of yourself to people who are way too young. So don't you dare come in here calling William Glorhoy. You are pedo, you are pedo. No, he's not. You are, goblin. You are. Stop denying this crap. Stop projecting out what you are onto others. You are this. Infuriating, isn't it? But God, do I love it. Anyone know how I know you're a pedophile? We all know that you like to touch your kids when no one's around. No, 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 no. no. Fuck you, Cyrax. Fuck you, Cyrax. That's what Cyrax does, too. He talks about people's kids, dude. And that's just fuck. You don't do that, dude. You don't do that. You don't go on here and talk to people and bring their kids into things. He always does that. It's disgusting and sick. No one can respect anyone who gets into a, an argument with someone and starts bringing that other person's children into the argument. It's sick. It is sick. You have no business talking about anyone's kids. And especially because all you're doing is lying, making up stupid shit. Liar. Liar Rax. Liar Cyrax. Making up stupid lies that are disgusting. Bringing people's kids into this shit. Again, no one can respect someone who brings people's children into our... They're innocent. You leave them out of it. They have nothing to do with this. You stupid, disgusting goblin. He does it every time. Every time. Even if you don't have kids, he'll still do it. He'll still try to bring your kids into it, even if you don't have them. So sick. We all know that you like to touch your son and daughter when no one's around, Gloria. So sick. Projection again. Matter of fact Projection again. Because I guarantee you, Rax has done this sort of thing. If he ever had the opportunity, maybe with any relatives or anything, I guarantee you he tried to do that shit because he's sick and he's projecting. Projection goblin. Matter of fact, weren't you the one? Weren't you the one that touched Jamie's kids, bro? Weren't you the one that had sex with Jamie's kids? Sick. Oh, y'all didn't know? Sick, Y'all didn't know this motherfucker had sex with Jamie's kids when no one was around. Cyrax, you're sick. Shut the fuck up. You're sick, dude. You're a sick freak. Oh. You're fucking I bet y'all didn't know that, man. did ya? You know that? I bet y'all didn't know that he likes to touch this is the writers I've ever seen. too. Sick. Oh, Cyrax. what's the matter, Gloriel? You mad that the truth's finally coming out? That you're a fucking <laughs> pedophile, bitch? Look at that projection. What's you're the so matter, retarded. Glory Dick Face? You're so retarded. Boy? That projection. You're a well, pedophile, you really, you really bitch. showed me. Glory holds a pedophile. Glory holds a pedophile. Just disturbing. You're a pedophile, now, bitch. Eight? You're Nine, a pedo, maybe? bitch. You're a pedo, bitch. Just disturbing. You're Sorry. a pedo little dick sucker, bro. Wow. You suck dick for money. And this and is the kind of guy you like to No, you use that money. Wrong. You fucking use that money that's rightfully mine. And you use it to pay off kids to literally fuck them. This is you disturbing, Cyrax. This is some of the most disturbing stuff I've heard Cyrax say in a while. Nasty. Nasty. Of course he would be talking about that kind of stuff. Because it's what he thinks about all the time. It's what he's into and he's proven that time and time again. It's wrong. It's wrong. This is why I say it, it won't be safe to have the goblin roaming the streets. Right? So what can be done then? What do you do with a goblin that's dangerous and sick? What do you do with a goblin like that? I mean, do we have some sort of dungeon somewhere? Who knows? But I, I really am going to fear for the people of Akron once Sally passes on and Cyrax is out there roaming. I mean, especially people who have kids. I tell you what, everyone in, in Akron who has kids, you be careful. Because once Cyrax is out there roaming the streets, your kids aren't safe. To be honest, nobody is. And I hope he's never able to get any sort of weapons or anything like that. We do know that he already has at least one weapon in that house he has access to. And uh, I believe it's only a matter of time till he tries to do something very foul. I mean, he already has, but you know what I mean. Then again, he's so unintelligent, he probably wouldn't be able to accomplish whatever he tried to accomplish. You are the definition of a pedophile, bro. I earned you all are that a money. fucking pedophile, you cracked a dollar. Boy. First off, you ain't shit, nigga. And believe it or not, Gloria, when it comes down to it, you're afraid to face me in real life. You ain't gonna come I gave out you from my IP address. Like you're a chicken shit. You said Nobody's afraid to face you in real life, Cyrax. You're like four foot eight. You weigh a hundred pounds. You uh, your skin and bones. You're you, nobody's afraid to face you. The only person you can beat up is your grandma. Okay, bastard. But when Marty did come to meet up with you in person, because you kept challenging him, what did you do? 
We all know what you did. We all know what you did, Cyrax. You hid in the attic, and you had your grandma and Ed go out and ask Marty to leave. Said that you're going to call the police if he didn't leave. What did Marty do? He said, all right, I'll leave. No worries. Just came to see Cyrax. He invited me over. They said, all right. He said he left. That's what you did, Cyrax. That's what you do. Please stop denying the truth. How can you deny reality to the extent that you do? Admit what you are. Admit who you are. Maybe then somebody could have a shred of respect for you. Until then, nobody will ever have a shred of respect for you. And the only people who act like they do are trolling you. They are trolling you for fun, and they have fun doing it. Sometimes people long game you. It's really cool. By the way, be careful who you're talking to on Discord. Because <laughs> uh, you're being long gamed right now. <laughs> <laughs> by, by multiple people by multiple people are long gaming you all right and uh oh just wait till they put out the stuff they have oh it's some good stuff boy pussy boy hey, you showing up. pussy boy mm. you're a pussy bro oh, hey jay man, wouldn't you agree you really got me there a goddamn coward all i want to know is can i just ask you one question really in glory hole and i know you don't like me either <clears throat> so no, I, I Go ahead, you can ask me anything you want. I just want to know, just why are you so invested in, like, his life so much? Like, you, I'll tell you the same thing I told him when he asked me this question. It's because he threatened my girlfriend Kate's children. No, I did not, screen. motherfucker. No, the fuck also I did not, bro. Times Everybody fucking knows, Glory Hall, that you and her I'm are not online. dating, you douchebag. That's you and her line. are not dating, you pussy, limp dick bitch. You believe what I you want. I don't even know it, Kate, motherfucker. I, I answered the question for Jennifer, not for you. Hey, Shut dumbass. Up. Look at Cyrax. Basically, what he's saying is, yeah, that's exactly what I did. He says, but you're not dating her, so it doesn't matter. You think that excuses what you've done, Cyrax? Threatening people's children and all this sick stuff you do, which he has. He loves threatening people's children. You think that excuses it because you say you're not dating her, Cyrax? You don't understand that it's just not the right thing to do, it's sick. And when we see you doing stuff like this, or hear about it, and then see the proof that we're just going to despise you for it, you think you should get away with it? Is that what you think, Cyrax? Because you won't. You're not. I don't think you understand. When the truth gets out about you doing this kind of stuff that you've done, the people online, man, we don't, we'll never forget it. This kind of stuff doesn't blow over, Cyrax. It's never going to go away. It's going to follow you wherever you go, too. You're what's called a lol cow is what you're called. It's a lol cow. I know you say, I'm not a lol cow. I'm not a lol cow. Cyrex, it's not what you think. It's what everyone else does. And to a lot of us, you're our favorite lol cow. You're more interesting than, than Chris Chan in many ways. And that means we're taking it to the next level. Yeah. But how long, how long has this been going on? Oh, this has been going on for over two fucking years now. This douchebag can't seem to shut the fuck up because he's a little bitch. Right. So, like, he's the little. Why can't little you guys bitch. just like? I don't know. Yeah. He's a danger. He's a danger like, to children. I don't know. Let it go. He sure. Is. I mean, well, if he's not doing, he he admitted multiple times. Was it Kate? But was he? No. Kate sending he, him he, a, pictures of minors. Okay, first of all, it's irrelevant how he got set up with Kate. Kate set him up and said she was 14, and he sent her pictures of his dick and said, this is all for you, yep. your turn, cutie. Really disgusting shit. Exactly. Then on, after that happened, he right. asked, uh, Kate asked Chance, how many other times have you sent pics to children? Mm -hmm. And he said two, two times before that. So he's admitted to multiple Kevin. children doing this. Straight facts. Then why wasn't he charged with anything? Because why in Ohio does not have a statute where I can report him for this kind of activity. The police either have to bust him themselves or there has to be an actual child victim yep. that report to the Akron PD. That's the only two, right. only, only two reasons he can be arrested in Akron. So if it did come to that, let's say it did work out where Kate could have reported him for that, well, they would have asked me, him. right, but if she were to, they would have asked her for proof. She would have had to say, "Well, I right. sent, him, I sent she him." Showed them the proof, and that's when we found out that Akron doesn't prosecute unless there's a real child victim or the police do a sting on him. Right, because she. That's why. She, right. And Gloria, let me tell you something right there now. There was no Gloria difference Hall. between what the 
Hey, dumbass. Why don't you shut your mouth, glory, bitch? Because if you set someone up and tell them that you're 14 and he sends a Hey, glory, why don't you shut your goddamn mouth? person is a predator. Fuck, boy. Doesn't matter if it was oh, set up. Oh, Gloria, let me tell you right now, motherfucker. Even if Masshole was your girlfriend, the bitch fucking deserves it because she's a fucking pedophile, bro. No, she's not. You are, Cyrex. Quit projecting. You are. He gets so mad about it, too. You know, we've learned about a few other who so called lol cows who they actually are proud of the fact that that's what they're into, that sickness, you know? And they try to make excuses for it. Uh, there's a few in particular we've learned about who they're very proud of the fact that that's, you know, what they like. But Cyrax denies it for whatever reason. I'm not sure why he doesn't just admit the truth. She has shot on her but you don't have any proof. Bitch. She has we shot have, have proof of her you here, you conversating with multiple You're children. You're a pedo supporter, on nigger Facebook. boy. You're an oh, ignorant no. porch monkey boy. Oh, no. You were having a nice conversation until you came back, Go chance. back to the UK, bitch. Go back to Africa, you white-ass punch. That... Okay, your insults are really not making sense now, Cyrex. Do you see how stupid he makes himself look? He blames everyone else. He says, you want to make me look like this? You want to make me... No, Cyrax, you make yourself look like exactly what you are. Nobody has to do anything. You show us who you are and what you are. And Cyrax, I know you're going to hear this. Listen to me now, Goblin. Whenever you try to act nice, that's not you. You're not a nice person. You're not kind-hearted. You're not a loving person. You're a mean angry, depressed, lonely, psychotic, freaking goblin. And I tell you what, if I spent all of my days in that dark attic, jacking off, drinking sludge, I don't know, I might be almost as fucked up as you are. But you're gonna have to start being honest with who you are, with yourself. Stop lying to yourself, Cyrax. Don't you deserve to tell yourself the truth? Stop lying. Stop projecting out all this bullshit onto others. It is you. You are the goblin. Dude, you're a fucking bitch. You're an You are the bitch, too. You are the bitch. You hide when you're confronted in real life. You hide. You scramble. You're like little roach. You're like a little scorpion that, uh... Oh, no, those scorpions, they pack a punch when they sting you. You're not a scorpion. You're like a little roach that just kind of runs off and hides. And you make noise once you're safe in the wall where nothing can get you. You just make noise. That's all you do. Fuck boy, bro. You don't know nothing about shit. You don't you know don't... nothing. You don't know nothing about shit, Cyrax. That's why you don't have a damn thing going for you, and you never will. You never will, Cyrax. You refuse to learn. You refuse to grow. You refuse to stop acting like a. Uh... I mean, words just can't describe how stupid you act, dude. You don't know shit about shit, motherfucker. Wow. You don't know jack shit. Projection. King You're of projection. You're a fucking ignorant asshole, bro. King, king of projection. When are here. you gonna grow the fuck up? Stop this fucking charade ass bullshit and stop fucking lying to people, motherfucker. You and I both know I don't know nobody in the case except an asshole, bro. And right now, she ain't even allowed on the fucking internet because of a goddamn court case that you and her are involved in. What? She was on the internet two nights ago. I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, well, guess about. what? She's you're not allowed to be, is she? She is, too. She's not you're supposed to be, is she? You're an idiot. By core law, she's not supposed to be, you dumb fuck. You're so dumb. Uh, bro, you want to really look in the mirror, you fucking bitch-made yeah, fuck look boy. look in the mirror. You're yeah, that's why you suck on really Kate's me. dick all the time. Mom. Bro, you're a dick sucker, bro. Mom. And let me tell you, Gloria, you want to know why I threatened that bitch? Because she fucking deserved it for fucking going after me the way she it's fucking... Just, is this a lack of being raised properly? You know, Cyrax's dad, biological dad, was in prison for raping a, uh, you know, a 14-year-old. He, he went to prison for 20 years. So he wasn't part of Cyrax's life growing up. His mother, she, his biological mother died in a house fire. She, um, there was some sort of fire. And she, she passed away from that. So Cyrax was adopted as a baby by his grandmother. And... Sally, we wish her the best. We give, wish her a good recovery in the hospital. But I'm wondering, maybe she just didn't have it in her to raise a, uh, you know, a productive, good member of society or something. Or, or is it something that's actually wrong with Cyrax? Cyrax did have a stepdad. He did. Listen now. Listen, this is part of the lore that goes back way back in the day. Sally has an ex-husband, right? Or was he a boyfriend? I think he was her ex-husband. And he was a military man. He was a strong guy. He was a good guy, man, you know? He's a badass dude. He's a he's a tough military guy, man. A badass guy. And he tried to raise Cyrax, give him a good upbringing. He tried. 
But Cyrax, man, Cyrax, he didn't, he didn't want to become anything meaningful. Cyrax wanted to rax. So whenever Sally and her ex-husband, whenever they divorced, or maybe he was the boyfriend, you'll have to tell me because this is a part of the lore from before I was, you know, tracking all of this. But at one point, Cyrax went down to Florida. Is that where, is that where his, uh, Sally's ex-husband lived? To visit him. And they got in such a bad fight there. You know what happened? Something along the lines of Cyrax getting kicked out. His uh, ex-stepdad told him, he said, I'm done with your bullshit. He said, get out of my house. I'm done. You're never going to learn. And then Sally apparently had to drive down there and pick him up. All the way down there to Florida because uh, he was done with him. Raxo got in a fight with him. I'm sure the man was just trying to instill some sort of discipline in Cyrax. But Cyrax won't take it. He won't, he won't learn. He refuses to learn. He refuses to grow. So disturbing, this stuff. So disturbing. And uh, something tells me that we're coming up to the conclusion of the Rax series. I mean, this is a great saga. We'll have to see what happens, though. My friends, if you enjoyed this insaneness, insa insa insanity, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you so soon with another update. I will keep you up to date. If you are new, do not forget to subscribe. I will keep you up to date on what happens with Raxo, with Sally. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I wish you nothing but much love, peace, and chicken grease, and I look forward to seeing you again so very soon. Hey, and watch this video next, the one that just popped up. If you like this one, you're going to love that one. I'll see you soon.